everyone, it's Corey McCarthy, and thank you for tuning in. At this point, in at least a few videos now, I've discussed the average differences in testosterone levels between meat eaters, vegetarians, and vegans. For example, based on the data from the Massive Epic study, which is one of the largest cohort studies in the world, with a sample size of 521,457 healthy adults, it was found that vegan men, on average, have about 7% higher total testosterone and about 5% higher free testosterone than do meat eaters. And when vegans were compared to vegetarians, the difference was found to be about 8% and 2% higher respectively, in favor of vegans, that is. And the researchers behind that paper had controlled participant data for factors such as age, smoking, exercise, timing of blood draws, BMI, and more. You know, before someone argues, but people who are vegan are just more likely to follow a healthier lifestyle, such as one including exercise. Yeah, they controlled for that sort of shit too. Now, granted, the disparity in testosterone levels was not massive between those three dietary groups. Certainly not large enough to have any real impact on muscle building potential. Uh, nonetheless, it demonstrates that vegans are certainly not at a disadvantage by abstaining from animal products. I mean, technically, vegans have a bit more of that male hormone circulating through their bodies on average compared to folks who consume animal products. But testosterone isn't the main focus of this video. Rather, I just felt like it was a nice preface. Uh, so let's get into the tofu and potatoes of this video, shall we? Last Friday, I sat down to watch The Game Changers on Netflix. I had initially only planned to watch like 15 to 20 minutes of it and finish it the rest of it the next day. Uh, but I eventually decided, well, fuck it, and ended up watching the entire thing. Uh, now, most of what the documentary explored I already knew as I try to keep on top of the research. In fact, uh, long-term viewers of this channel will likely already be aware of most of what it discusses uh, since I've been presenting that sort of data here for years. Uh, but there was one topic in particular that I haven't really covered at length uh, on this channel. Uh, something that I hadn't seen much research exploring. Ergo, something I could only really theorize about hitherto. Uh, and that was the differences in erectile strength and frequency among those who consume a vegan diet versus animal-based. The Game Changers featured a scene where Dr. Aaron Spitz, who is a board-certified urologist and the lead delegate of the American Urological Association, took three collegiate athletes and ran an experiment on them, which lasted for two nights. On the first night of the experiment, uh, he had the men consume uh, meat-based burritos containing beef, chicken, or pork. And on the second night, uh, the same men were fed vegan burritos containing a mock meat alternative. Over the course of both nights, the three men had the strength, longevity, and frequency of their erections tracked uh, while they slept uh, by wearing a medical device on their respective dongs. The purpose of this experiment uh, was to determine what effects, if any, diet plays on a dude's manhood. Well, after comparing the data that was gathered on both nights, it was found that the vegan meal elicited a 12% increase, on average, in erectile hardness, with an average increase of 364% in erectile longevity. In fact, one of the three dudes named Blake actually experienced a 477% increase in erectile longevity. In other words, all three men experienced significantly harder and longer lasting erections after simply going meat free for just one damn night. Uh, now granted, this was not an officially published study, thus you are not gonna find it in any of the reputable peer reviewed journals. It also had an extremely tiny sample size of just N equals three uh, with very limited controls. But the results are interesting nonetheless and certainly warrant a follow-up research uh, to see if they can be replicated under scrutiny with a larger number of participants. With that said, there was a study published in 2004, a randomized single-blind trial that lasted three years examining 110 obese men aged between 35 and 55, none of whom suffered from diabetes, hypertension, or hyperlipidemia, but all of whom experienced erectile dysfunction. That study found that by reducing the intake of high cholesterol foods, erectile dysfunction, and overall sexual function 
was improved. Granted, that study only looked at obese men and didn't specifically compare a vegan diet uh, to a diet containing animal products, but it is in line with the experiment featured in the Game Changers, so I felt it was appropriate to mention here. And then you have this 2010 paper which examined the effects of the Mediterranean diet on erectile dysfunction. And it determined that the Mediterranean diet may actually improve erectile dysfunction. For those who are not aware, the Mediterranean diet reduces or eliminates red and processed meat, as well as refined grains, and instead relies heavily on fruits, vegetables, nuts, whole grains, and fish. So while the Mediterranean diet is clearly not vegan, it is a far cry from, say, the carnivore approach. All vegans would have to do is eliminate the fish, as many of us already consume fruits, vegetables, nuts, and whole grains in relative abundance. That study does make me wonder how a vegan diet would stack up against the Mediterranean diet in this regard, uh, to see what would happen if the participants had also eliminated the fish. Anyway, I hope you all found this video interesting, and I hope that videos like this will help send the ubiquitous meat makes you manly myth straight to bed. You see, that myth is kind of like a petulant child. It's well past its bedtime, but the little shit refuses to stay tucked in. Please leave your thoughts and comments below, and don't forget to like and share this video if you found it interesting. Your support really helps this channel out. In fact, ever since releasing my last video, my views have surged again and my subscribers have increased. All thanks to your interaction, be that with views, likes, dislikes, comments, and or replies. So thank you all very much for watching and participating, and please do keep your support up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not already, press the bell button for notifications, and check back here weekly, as all three avenues will help ensure that you do not miss any new content from me. Furthermore, check out the video description for links to my products and services, as well as my affiliate links, such as Amazon, and my Patreon and Subscribestar pages, and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. And that also includes an array of my science-based training and nutrition ebooks, which can help you get results like those seen on my clients pictured here. And don't forget to check out my latest ebook, The Right to Bear Arms, which will attack your guns in a strategic and scientifically sound manner, possibly doubling their growth potential over the course of 12 weeks, supported by human research. That ebook is linked below in the description. Also, check out my recent video, Add Over One Inch to Your Arms Fast, for an in-depth look at a novel training method that was shown in a study this year to ignite arm strength and growth in a relatively short period of time. That video is also linked below in the description. Thank you all for your support, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.